Hi everyone, this is Jim. Welcome to this uh, Chess Blitz uh, Blitz Chess postmortem video. This is a postmortem of my uh, Blitz Chess game number 76, where I played the uh, Sicilian defense. And my opponent went into this line, which is not that common at the top level, but I see it fairly often. This is the uh, Bishop C4 line. You can see it's the uh, fifth choice after D4, the open Sicilian, Bishop B5, check the Russellimo, or uh, Moscow variation, I guess. Uh, knight c3 or c3, other alternatives. So bishop c4, number five. And um, there was a, uh, a video uh, that Dan Heisman uh, created recently on ICC about the common opening uh, inaccuracies. He didn't call it a blunder, but uh, inaccuracy. So uh, I guess there's just a waste of time involved because black is eventually going to be able to push uh, d4 and uh, kick the bishop. So um, still... I say white white gets a decent game out of this, and um, so I play uh, knight. Uh, I play e6 or knight c6 here. It's interesting that knight f6 is the uh, most common move. I guess uh, same idea as in a regular Sicilian. You play knight f6 to hit the pawn and force him to defend it somewhere or another, either uh, d3 or knight c3, blocking the c pawn. Um, so that's an idea. Maybe I'll try that. I, I got into the habit of playing this way to block that bishop keep it from becoming active, and then uh, we're pretty much out of the opening book along here. It wasn't very many moves uh, in the opening book anyway, but uh, it, still knight f6 is the uh, recommended move at this point, even after uh, e6, so that's interesting. Um, so let's go look at the notation. I'm going to leave the engine off. I did check this out with an engine earlier. and um, So I play this line with... Uh, Knight GE7, and then the later Bishop G7. And um, the chess engine prefers Knight F6 and Bishop to E7. So just a uh, straightforward setup here, and not bothering with the fianchetto. And there is a problem with the fianchetto, which we will get to in a minute. So uh, Knight GE7 here, takes, takes, and then G6. So this move G6 is, is a mistake, actually, and... Um, White has a good move here, so uh, why don't you uh, treat this one as a tactical puzzle here? What's what's a good move for White here? Okay, I'm going to give the answer away. If you want more time to think about it, pause the video. The answer is White can play knight b5. And uh, doubly attacking the d-pawn. And the best move here, according to the computer, is knight g8. <laughs> defending the, the pawn with the bishop and the queen. But you basically lost uh, two moves in development because you put the knight on e7 and then they moved it back to g8. So, so it's obviously going to be bad for black. And, you know, you've got a bind on this pawn. So, But the question you have to ask yourself is why not just play um, why not just play d5? And uh, Turns out this is just worse, so can you see the follow-up here? White to move. And what's a good follow-up? I just played uh, d5 attacking the bishop. Okay, I'm going to give the answer away again. Uh, if you want more time to think about it, uh, pause the video. The answer is bishop f4, threatening knight to c7 check and winning this rook. And uh, the computer says uh, the best move is uh, you take... Uh, no, you can't take because knight to here is mate. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you have to move the bishop out of the way. Knight here. Knight here check. King f8. Only move. Uh, I guess you could sack the queen. Not the only move, but the best move. Knight takes, and now there to get some material back, and you maybe you're hoping to trap the knight and get uh, two pieces for a rook, which would be okay. But he can trade queens here, and now the the knight is not trapped; it can come out through the uh, c7 square. So um, this is just really good for white. So if we back up to this point here. G6 is just a bad move. I need to do something about this pawn now uh, before knight uh, b5 is played. Or maybe just play a6 to keep the knight out of b5. That's, that's an idea a lot of times. 
So I played g6, uh, not noticing any of that, and he plays bishop e3, not noticing any of that. So I was kind of fortunate, but that's a neat tactic. You always got to be aware of this uh, knight b b5 to uh, c7 kind of thing, supported by a bishop on f4, and also putting pressure on the uh, the backwards d pawn. So uh, the game continues along uh, pretty even for quite a while here. It's actually a reasonably well-played game. There's just a couple moments where uh, we didn't find the best moves, and uh, that happens in all games, even slow games. So this was a decent game. Um, so I'm just playing through up to the next uh, interesting point. And you can see uh, it stayed within the range of uh, either side of equal uh, through all of these moves. So we were none of us were making uh, big blunders along here. And... Uh, Somewhere along here, I guess it's, uh, if we back up, before move 22. So what was my last move before move 22? My last move was queen to b5. Yeah, so this queen b5 move, I guess, was a mistake because um, uh, white has a good move here. It's not, not overwhelmingly good, but what's the best move for white here? This is not... So much a tactic as uh, maybe a good positional type move or something. So this is your chess position and you're white. Your turn to move. What would you play in this position? Okay, I'm going to give the answer away. If you want some more time to think about it, pause the video. Uh, the chess engine is recommending e6 here. And um, After which uh, this this bishop is going to get traded off, and um, let's say for example you take here, and then this pawn is is uh, backwards, so it can be picked up at any time. Uh, I believe uh, rook here is possible even now, but I think the chess engine preferred uh, knight uh, d4 hitting the queen and then then picking up the pawn, and. Um, this creates a backwards pawn for me over here, and uh, it creates inroads into my position on the d-file. So uh, I think um, white's doing pretty well after this move. So yeah, not a win of material, just kind of a, a good position for white. Okay, so queen b5, he played rook f2, and um, allows me back in the game. Rook f8, this uh, starts to put the brakes on that e6 idea. And uh, then he attacks with uh, g4. So um, the other thing that started to happen around here is uh, white was kind of short on time, but uh, he's, he's doing pretty well here. The, there's only one defensive move at this point, and uh, it's not one I would want to play, but the computer is recommending here, the chess engine is recommending bishop to c8, and uh, with the idea of just holding on to that pawn, so uh, when he takes, you could take back with the bishop, and uh, then he might just push ahead here. And this is a very cramped uh, position and not, not very comfortable looking for uh, black, but uh, according to the chess engine, black can hold this okay. And I do still have pressure on the um, B file, so maybe this is about even. Um, but like I said, not a very appealing position to me. Um, I played F takes G4, and now H takes, and then Bishop C8, thinking, well, maybe I can pick up this pawn, but he pushes ahead with F5 which is a very good move. And then I bring my queen back to try and defend a bit. And uh, once more, I think this is the last quiz in the game here, but uh, there's, there's a good move here for white. And uh, this is quite strong. This, this move is outright winning, actually. Okay, so put on your thinking caps, uh, pause the video and spend some time. Try. You're attacking as white. What's, what's your best uh, move to continue the attack here? Yeah, I'm going to pause the video and give it away. And the recommended move is once again e6. And, uh, and there's so many variations here that uh, it's hard to say. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not going to be able to show you too many of them, but uh, I'll show you a few here. If pawn takes, then you can throw in here. And then pawn takes, not pawn takes e6, but pawn takes g6. This is the key idea. So now I've got this tremendous pawn center, which uh, if I could get rolling at some time in the distant future uh, would be good for black. But uh, in fact, white is just uh, destroying me on the king side here. I can't 
Uh, well, I can take back. But if I do, the knight comes in here attacking the queen and attacking this pawn, and the queen comes in. So uh, this is all very dangerous for me. And uh, so that's the main idea. With e6, uh, I can't really uh, take with the pawn because he takes on g6. And uh, if I can't do that, then what can I do? Uh, the computer actually recommends sacrificing the bishop here. And then you can take with the rook, and at least you're not uh, getting destroyed immediately. But you're a piece down for uh, a pawn or two. And uh, not, not looking good. So uh, that would be the way for black for white to win. That's, that's the best way to continue the attack. Instead, he made the uh, sort of natural move. F takes g6, opening up lines. But uh, that allows me to hold. So this position is now, um, in fact, actually, the computer prefers black a little bit after I pick up this pawn. So I think this is where uh, white just ran short of time. I think he was playing pretty well. And uh, if he had uh, had enough time, he would have figured this, this attack out. But he had to move quickly. And um, so now I'm able to uh, get a good position here. And of course, he's avoiding uh, trade. But uh, his knight gets trapped here. It's pinned. It was pinned against the king or queen, and now it's pinned against uh, the. Uh, here it was pinned against the queen, rather. And after the queen moves, I pin it against the queen from the other direction. Um, so he's just losing that piece. He tries counterattacking the knight, but I take here, and then uh, he can't take back. And uh, the queen is in a very unfortunate position here, so there's a, a simple tactic here to win the queen. I hope you all see it. Anyway, he resigned. He saw it. It's uh, this move here, bishop e3 check, and uh, it's game over. The king has to move, or, well, he can take the bishop. Probably there. There. And then it's just a mate in a few moves from here. So uh, interesting game, uh, and uh, White had a pretty good attack going there, so it shows how uh, vigilant you have to be on defense to not let your opponent uh, uh, get the upper hand on you. And um, it also shows how uh, careful you have to be when attacking to find the, the best move at uh, each step. So I uh, hope you guys got something out of that, and uh, leave any comments you have in the section below. I'll see you again later. Bye.